Thank you for watching. If you like my content, I would love for you to support my Patreon page. Starting as low as $3 per month, you can contribute to my media. Contributions allow me to upgrade equipment and more time to dedicate to bring you up-to-date videos and merchandise. Click the link below in the description to get started today. And again, thank you so much for supporting me all these years. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm just not really feeling this whole thing going on right now with everything with this Cosby situation. But I feel like I need to talk about this because this is something that's kind of bothering me a little bit. And um, so W. Kamal Bell has a series coming. Out. I saw the trailer called We Need to Talk About Cosby. I guess it's at the Sundance Film Festival or something. I'm not, I'm not sure. And basically, it's a four-hour documentary. Four hours. That's in-game two and a half times. Talking about things that we already know about Dr. Cosby. Okay. Now, allegedly, this was in the works before he got out of jail. And I guess this was something that they were going to do anyway. But apparently, you know, he got out of jail. So they had to kind of change things up. Um, This is basically me, my feelings on everything. I mean, you, you can feel the way you want to feel. I feel like we as a country have attached ourselves to... The all things sexual assault wise and it's to the point now where people are using sexual assault issues to get rich off of it's not even a situation of and I, I know that sounds insensitive but let me explain um, there is a particular woman that's involved in this she pl actually played on the Cosby show and she just came out with allegations against Bill Cosby herself. Um, now, I have a motto when it comes to sexual assault, and I've always had this motto. Even before Me Too got popular, my motto is, believe the victim, but investigate the, the, um, assailant, the alleged assailant. Look into the case. I only say that because I was once a victim of lies when it came to sexual assault. I was actually told, someone actually, basically it was a situation I was trying to get my daughter. Um, she was in foster care. It was a long story. I, I actually plan on doing a video to explain that situation, but her mother had did some stuff. She got put in foster care. I couldn't find her when I finally found them. It was already too late, you know, Kansas laws don't really shine for men as much as they do for women when it comes to child custody. But allegedly, you know, I was getting things done and my daughter was coming to visit. She was loving it. Everything was cool. And then all of a sudden, each week, accusation would come up to a point where visitation stopped because it was alleged that I had sexually assaulted my own daughter. Um, but... I think everyone knew it was bullshit because the story was she, she they said she said that I sexually assaulted her with carrots and celery. Like basically, I took the carrots and celery and I was touching her with carrots and celery. And 
Um, back, I don't know about you guys, but up until recently, the only time I bought celery was when I was cooking, like for like Thanksgiving stuffing and stuff like that. I'm not really, I don't like carrots like that. And if I do buy carrots, I buy shredded carrots or uh, things like that. I don't buy whole carrots. I'm not a damn rabbit, you know, so. But anyway, uh, my daughter is 22 years old now. And she will tell you that all that was bullshit just for them to get her. And they did get her for a little bit. But then once they realized that my daughter um, wasn't going to be the pretty princess they thought she was, they got rid of her. We had to go rescue her, and to make long story short, it was all bullshit. So, I know that people have the capacity to lie about sexual assault. Let, I don't want people to pretend like it's not possible. It is very possible for someone to lie about sexual assault. Men, as of late, have been getting released because of lack of evidence in sexual assault cases. So, it's happening. It's happening. So, I don't want... Now, that's not to say that women aren't sexually assaulted. Um, because one is a, one is too high. Whatever percent... One percent of women is too high. Let alone whatever percentage it is. I, I, I didn't do the research. This is all freestyle. So, you have to forgive me. But one percent is too much. No woman should ever be subjected to that type of sexual assault but at the same time no man should be subjected to that type of ridicule either because nowadays it's better to be accused of murder than it is for sexual assault i would rather somebody accuse me of murder than any type of sexual assault you know what i'm saying like that's literally the deterrent if a woman even hints that like if i'm on facebook and a woman says i'm being creepy because i'm in her inbox that's the red light i'm not i i'm delete, you know, I'm blocking. I've actually had women that would say that, and then when I'm somewhere in my life and they want to be a part of it, then all of a sudden they got their friends inboxing me, because what I do is like, if I'm on Facebook or any social media and a woman's saying I'm being creepy, I immediately block them, you know, delete them, block them. I don't want nothing to do with them, because my thing is, okay, I'm taking the steps to move away from you. I'm taking the steps to get you out of my life, you know what I'm saying, but when shit starts popping, like for instance, you know, I start doing my podcast, and I say, there's this one female, I'm not going to say her name, that she actually accused me of being creepy or whatever, but she saw that shit was moving for me, then all of a sudden, she wants to start hitting me up, and she's going through my friends, saying, hey, tell him to hit me up, and I'm like, tell her that she needs to go on and make a public post saying that I ain't creepy, and I ain't did nothing to her. And she's like, oh, that was a long time ago. Don't nobody remember that? Yes, they do. I get, you know, people, I, every now and then I hear about it all the time. So, ladies, you have a very powerful voice now. You know what I'm saying? This isn't the 1950s where rape allegations were going under the rug. You know what I'm saying? It's way much, it's much better now. Men are literally going to jail for rape allegations without no evidence whatsoever. That's where we're at now. You know what I'm saying? Um, I really don't understand what, where the the thoughts of anybody, where anybody, you know, where anybody feels that that's not happening. You know what I'm saying? It's like literally, like, there's actually a, a guy in Wichita, not Wichita, but uh, that literally went to jail for rape and in Kansas and this dude literally was in jail. There was no evidence. There was nothing to even suggest um that he um that he um that he did anything. It was just her word against his. There were even people there were even people that were like, you know, hey, you know People that were saying, hey, they weren't back there long enough for anything to happen. They literally went back there and they came back. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like, you know, it was an ongoing thing. It was like literally a few minutes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think people need to understand that this can happen. You know, I think this could happen. It's literally a situation where people are getting, these things are getting overturned. 
you know, Albert Wilson, Kansas KU student, was his, his rape case was dismissed after he served time in jail. I think it was like a year or two for raping a or well, allegedly raping a girl, and there was no evidence. It was her word against his, and they believed her word. I'm pretty sure her being white helped, but you have to understand that this is not a joke at all. So going back to Cosby, I believe Bill, Mr. Cosby cheated on his wife. I believe that she believe. I'm pretty sure she believes it, and I'm not saying that he didn't. And I'm not saying that. I'm not. I don't even want to say that maybe he didn't give some drugs to a woman. But here's the thing, though. How many times have you ever been in a situation where you've been getting high, drunk with a woman, and you've had sex with her? Ladies, how many times have you been high, drunk with a man, and you've had sex with him? You know what I'm saying? I have a rule. I have another rule. If she's not 100% with it, you need to be 100% against it. If you want to have sex with a woman and she's like, uh, you know, nope, don't do it. Don't even persuade her. Like, if you, it needs to be an outstanding yes and not, or you need to give her outstanding no. I need to know for sure that you want this. You want to have sex. I need to know 110%, at least 100%, but 110% would be much better. I need to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you want. I'm actually kind of conditioned, and I've actually lost a lot of women to this, to where I don't even make, I barely make the first move when it comes to sex. I don't do the whole, I don't, you know, and it's really affecting me personally. Because I don't want to ever be put in a position where a woman's saying I raped her. So what I, I don't make the first move. I literally let the woman pull my pants down or I let her pull my shit out and it goes from there. You know what I'm saying? I don't do, I, it's, and it's a fear. I don't want, because my thing is like, yo, you didn't want it. You pulled my shit out. You the one who put the condom on. Like, I, put, I, want, I, I lie. I don't like how it feels when I want to put a condom on me, but shit. I tell her, put the condom on. Okay, she put the condom on. And, you know, she thinks she's doing something. I'm just like, and then once we have to have sex, I make sure it's on tight and everything's cool. But I don't know. Like, I go through extreme lengths just so there's no, beyond no doubt. If she says stop, I'll literally get up. I'll get up and I'll move away from her. I've actually had, I actually had a situation where a woman, I did that, where I was having sex with a woman. And she said, hold up. And I jumped off of her. She said, why'd you do that? I said, oh, I thought I was doing something wrong. She said, no, I, I just had a cramp in my leg. And I'm like, oh, and she looked at me and said, are you okay? I said, no, I'm cool. Because that's how I am. That's me personally. And I know a lot of people are like, man, you're going too far. But would you rather me go too far? Or would you rather me be somebody's name, another name in the media for sexual assault? You know what I'm saying? You got to understand this is why I don't understand. I don't, you know, and it's it's hard. I don't trust any, you know, I'm in a relationship now. And me and my girl, we, we talk about this type of stuff. And we actually, you know, you know, she agrees with me and feels like no man should feel like that. No man should feel like he, you know, and then, but, you know, you have women talking about, well, you should be able to read the signs. No, we can't read your signs. Every woman is different. Some women... You know, I, I've met women that like when men take advantage of them. Like, I, I one of my homegirls, she loves, she, she said, her and her, her husband, she said, my husband doesn't have to ask for it. As long as I'm not sick, I could be dead in my sleep. If my husband lifts my leg up and goes inside of me, it's his. Then I have another homegirl who, she, her and her husband have set nights, and they have, she has to be in the mood for it. Every woman is different. No woman has the same set of rules. You know what I'm saying? If that was the case, we would have figured it out a long time ago. Now, I'm not saying that Cosby didn't do something crazy. I think, I believe drugs were involved. Y'all understand, this is the 60s. Drugs were a heavy 
Dang, motherfuckers taking LSD pills, acid. You know what I'm saying? Like, I talk about drugs, too. Like, everybody likes to bring up the whole, well, he was talking about giving women Spanish fly. Do you realize I, there's movies out there with that, that were made by white men where they talk about give her some Spanish fly. She'll love it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, this stuff is out there. This is like, this is like, you do your research. There's like movies. There's like all types of shit that goes on out there. Like, rape culture is not just with men. It's with women as well, especially when it comes to women taking advantage of young boys. Look at American Pie, the first one. Um, Stifler's mom, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a, there's a movie called The First Turn, Turn On. That literally talks has teenagers talking about they teenagers fantasizing about sleeping with older older adults. You know what I'm saying? It's called the first turn on. MC Light has a song where she's bragging about um, messing with young boys. It's called Old Enough for What or something like that. You know what I'm saying? High five. They got a song called Just Can't Handle It. I was only 16. She was 25. Bro, I'm telling you. I even go as far as to say Aaliyah, Aaliyah, rest her soul, liked older dudes. I've never seen her with a dude her age, ever. Even when she was young. R. Kelly, yeah, that's gross, but she was also around X. She was around Genuine, Jay-Z, Dame Dash. You know what I'm saying? Then um, Ghostface Killer recently came out. You know, well, Raekwon came out in his book and said that Aaliyah and Ghostface Killer were dating at one time. So you got to understand, like, look at the movie Belly. There was a whole scene where Vita played a young girl who had said she was too young to fuck him, but she sucked his dick. So that's what I'm saying. But as far as Cosby goes, my biggest thing with Cosby is he's 84 years old. Even if they get something to take him back to trial, he's not going to jail. If he goes to jail, it's going to be like a, Minimum security hospital. This dude is like pretty much blind and out of it. You know what I'm saying? He's not 100% there. This isn't the Cosby 10, 15, 20 years ago. You know what I'm saying? This is an old man. You know what I'm saying? Like, and for them, for Kamal Bell to come out with this documentary, to me, it just, it doesn't feel genuine. It feels like it's a money grab. Because that's where all the attention is now. It's either politics or it's some type of something with that has to do with sexual assault because there are women out there who are victims and they want some type of something something that they can attach to and be like okay this isn't okay and I totally get it ladies and I I don't want nothing like that to ever happen to any woman ever again you know what I'm saying but y'all have to understand there are some people who are using your misery and your pain just to make some money surviving R. Kelly was a fucking money grab that wasn't nothing that Benedict been to fuck it wasn't nothing to help you at all they won an award off of it i want y'all to look up see how much money surviving r kelly donated to rape culture to like the lifetime donated to rape anything rape like sexual assault victims traffic victims see how much money they donated from surviving r kelly to that i want y'all to look at that look that up it's not there because it doesn't exist they made their money. They gave them women about a thousand dollars each. Maybe paid some of the other celebrities a little bit more to be on that show, and that was it. That was it. And a lot of people saw through that. They literally made that show like an episode of Real World. That's what it was. It was a reality show. It was a reality show. That's because that's what y'all like now. Y'all like y'all love reality shows. Y'all ain't even on the sitcoms no more like that. Y'all love reality shows. Y'all love drama. Y'all love messiness. Y'all have to understand, this is all messy. I want, I don't want to watch it. I kind of feel like I need to watch it so I can get my thoughts on it. But four hours long, that's ridiculous, yo. That is crazy. To talk about stuff we already know. You know? I can literally watch the trailer and get, gauge everything I need to gauge from it. Because Kamal, and the way Kamal kind of talks about it, he's literally on the... He's literally in the um, trailer talking about, oh, well, I don't know. I grew up on Cosby. I love Cosby. And I, don't know, I feel like we need to talk about, him. you know. I'm like, yo, bro. Look, as much as I love R. Kelly, I love his music. Robert Kelly has a problem. Robert Kelly needs help. 
Robert Kelly also was done dirty because it seems like once he stopped paying everybody, that's when everybody had a motherfucking story. And I think if Robert Kelly goes to jail, everybody needs to go to jail. Period. So, with that said, I think Bill Cosby needs to be left alone. I don't want to. I, I don't want. I, I don't want to, and I can't support any documentaries with Bill Cosby. I can't do it. I, I can't do it. Just like the Michael Jackson one. I didn't watch Leaving ne- I haven't watched and I will never watch Leaving Neverland. The Russell Simmons one. I didn't watch that one. You know what I'm saying? But Russell was smart. Russell got the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Russell said, fuck y'all. Y'all ain't about to do me. And he dipped. Because the way this culture is built, even if a man stands up and defend, like, I believe it was Tabitha Smiley that defended himself. Y'all still criticize him, no matter what. So, if a man doesn't say anything about it, he's lying. If a man defends himself, oh, he's being so aggressive. Why are you being so aggressive? He's lying. That's just what it is. If he lays down and takes it, y'all like, why is he just not defending himself? Oh, he's guilty. If he defends himself, oh, he's defending himself. Why? You know, he's guilty. So, either way it goes... This society will believe a woman. I want to leave y'all with this. There's a movie called um, Janky Promoters with Ice Cube and um, what's his name? Mike Epps in it. There's a scene where um, the, one of the, the promoter meets a maid and he gets in a room, in a hotel room, and he's having sex with her. The maid the manager opens the door to the room which by the way no one should ever do I've worked at Marriott hotels for like three years that is a no 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 maid nobody's gonna if you can hear someone in the room you're not just gonna open up the fucking door but anyway that's another that's another movie and she clearly sees her bent over and this dude standing on top of um what's it call it on phone books hitting her from the back and she's like are you are you being raped and the girl was like yes he's raping me but you're bent over he's standing on motherfucking phone books and y'all having sex I remember everybody used to laugh at it I didn't laugh at that I didn't think that shit was funny at all I thought that shit was disgusting I think oh, it was horrible I didn't make a big deal out of it because you know it was just a movie but I felt like it was horrible and it makes men look bad but for some reason, people think that shit's funny. Just like Stifler's mom. Everybody got a real kick out of this grown-ass woman. This woman playing a, a mom having sex with her teenage son's friends. Everyone got a kick out of that shit. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, it is what it is, man. But at the same time, I think Bill Cosby, I think he just needs to be left the fuck alone. I will not be supporting uh, Kamal Bell's project. And I have unfollowed him, and I've unfollowed pretty much anybody on that platform. You know what I'm saying? I mean, why can't y'all be like Quest Love? This dude literally gave his opinion about R. Kelly, but he didn't—he he didn't participate in nobody's platform because he didn't need to. He didn't want to give that attention. You know what I'm saying? But y'all gonna keep doing this, Mr. Co- Doctor Cosby has a—he's been to jail. He's out. You know, people get released from jail at old ages, y'all know. And here's the thing. Bill Cosby could have gone to jail earlier than that. Because remember, it wasn't about a month or so before he got actually got released. They told him that if he participates in a sex program, which basically is him admitting guilt, that they'll let him out. So he was going to get out either way it goes. Y'all just want him to admit that he did something. And so y'all can feel better about yourself. But the man said he didn't do anything. So I respect it. That's what made me respect him more. Because anybody else would have been like, all right, I'll take the deal. I just want to get out of jail. He stood his ground. And he said he didn't do anything. So that's why I said, you know what? This man, I don't think he's guilty. Because anybody else would have got the fuck out of there. Because he had 10 years. You know what I'm saying? Don't be surprised if Bill Cosby ends up in another country. Like if he just if he's making plans to leave the country, I wouldn't be surprised if Bill Cosby and his wife were getting ready to move somewhere like to Africa or something, and just and you know because they got enough money where they can do it. 
go out there, hire them, you know, get, find a doctor out there, find them a um, place, a, little, a nice house they can live in and just live out the rest of his days in Africa and don't come back. Don't be surprised. Do not be surprised because I wouldn't. But anyway, that's all I got for you. Let me know your thoughts on Cosby um, in the comments. Like, subscribe, share this video. I'll let you boy.